we have a cross-functional flowchart which has two bands. This is the top band and this is the second band. What we can do is we can move bands. For example, if I decided this band, Team Leader, should be above this band, Manager, I'll simply drag it by what they call the function text. I'll use this mouse pointer and drag this band up. When I let go, Team Leader is now above Manager. If I click on Manager and drag this up, eventually Manager will be above Team Leader. So you can move bands up and down and rearrange them. You can also resize bands. For example, when I click on this band here, and maybe click away and try again, I'm looking for this orange dashy line. When I have this orange dashy line, then I know I can use this mouse pointer to drag this band up so it's not so tall. And I really want Manager of Regulatory Services to be on three lines and to fit nicely. I also need to increase the width of the function text. So I'm going to click on the function text until I get these little placeholders and I'm going to drag to the right so that I can clearly see those three lines. And this immediately impacts the function text in the second band or swim lane. I'd like to click on this band and I'm looking for this dashy orange line and I'm going to resize it using this mouse pointer so that this text appears on four lines. And I can clearly see the text, but if I couldn't, I would click on the function text and I'd increase it a little bit so that I can clearly see the text, the function text. Now not only can you click and adjust the height of a particular band, but you can also adjust the width. If I move this mouse pointer, I can reduce the width of these particular bands. And if I drag with this mouse pointer to the right, I can increase the width so that this band is taking up the entire page. So we've got two bands and we know how to move them. We know how to resize the function text and resize the width and the height of the bands. But what I want to do is add four more bands or swim lanes. So I go to my cross-functional flowcharts stencil and I drag the swim lane diagram or, or shape onto my page. And when I drag it, I need to drag it in and up so it touches the second band and this line appears. That way this particular band or swim lane will attach itself to the second band or swim lane. And I need to add an additional three. I then want to resize these bands and I can tell by this orange dashy line that this band is currently selected. So I'm just going to reduce the height of this band so function fits on one line but it's no taller than the word function. I'm going to click on this particular band here and I'm going to make it taller. And really we're just working visually at this stage and maybe this one as well. We're working visually at this stage and we'll probably adjust the height of the bands as we start adding further shapes to this particular diagram. If I needed to delete a band, I just need to cover that as well. I'd simply click, say, on this band with the orange dashy line and press the delete key on my keyboard and I've deleted a band. If I then click the undo button on my quick access toolbar, I can get that band back. So we can easily resize, move, delete and add bands or swim lanes.